Uh, apparently, the law of the land was it is absolutely forbidden for anyone in America to inside or trade unless you happen to be accessing the best possible, purest form of inside information. <laughs> It's like saying nobody's allowed to use recreational drugs, unless it's that medical grade 100% pure cocaine, and then... <laughs> nah. I'm Tom Dwyer. Congress has earned its reputation for slowing things down, but recent actions show they can move quickly when the issues matter to them. Twelve months ago, the Stock Act, intended to control congressional insider trading, passed with 96% approval in both House and Senate. Obama signed it in a lavish publicity event. Fast forward. Eric Cantor stands before an empty House of Representatives on a Friday afternoon with a bill to gut the Stock Act's most critical provisions. It took less than 60 seconds to request and receive unanimous consent to his bill, and things were just as quick in the Senate. Obama signed it privately, and the announcement was a one-sentence email. Congress has dragged its feet on every priority of middle-class America. Single-payer health care, repealing corporate personhood, strong environmental standards, prosecuting bank fraud, and the list goes on. This malfaction is more than just evidence. It's proof that the people's priorities are not Congress's priorities. By phone at 503-230-2300 or online at TomDwyer.com or TomDwyer Automotive Services, trusted to keep your vehicles safe, breakdown-free, and operating at their best.